If I lean left and I hit a rock, I'm gone. RIP, like call my mama. Roderick E.A. Capelor has been cycling back and forth across the Granville Bridge to get to work for years. This bridge is so poorly designed. His concerns shared by others who use the bridge to commute daily. Usually the cars don't see you. A few cars will pass before they'll stop. At night, it's especially bad. The city of Vancouver says it has heard commuters' concerns. Changes are not only coming, they're here. What the connector project is doing is it's uh, creating an all ages and abilities accessible walking and cycling connection uh, from downtown to the south side of False Creek. Two lanes out of the current eight will be exclusively for pedestrians and cyclists. Oh, okay. Now we're making progress. City of Vancouver did something, hey. So that's fantastic because I use this bridge a lot with my child and it can be a bit nerve wracking. The Granville Bridge dates back to the 1950s and was not designed with pedestrians in mind. It was designed as a part of a high speed, high volume freeway that was never completed. The goal with this project was really to get that core piece of uh, connection in place. Along with this, uh, the project is also replacing the north loops at the north side of the bridge. Which will be replaced with a new network of streets. When complete, there will be a total of six lanes on the bridge for vehicle traffic, three in each direction. We're not expecting major congestion from this. There's a lot of space on the bridge, like there's four lanes in either direction. Essentially, all the traffic fits into two lanes in either direction. But even if there is a little congestion or a holdup... Honestly, long-term gain, short-term pain. Now, if you're a cyclist, pedestrian or driver, remember to pay attention to the signs to know what could be closed during the next year and a half of construction. Also, as far as the next phases go, the city of Vancouver says they're not too sure if and when those will begin. Zara Premji, CBC News, Vancouver.